Good morning, y'all. So I am, it's really afternoon because it's like 12.30, but I'm getting ready to go to Miami tomorrow. So today I have just a little bit of things to do. I need to pack. I didn't pack anything. I'm getting my hair done because it's about that time. And then um, I want to get some travel size sunscreen. We like to pack in all carry-ons just so it's easier. So I want to make sure I have all my travel size stuff. I've kind of been getting this stuff ready for the last like couple of days or whatever so i should be all set but i'm gonna run to ulta to get this travel size sunscreen they i saw that it was in stock and yeah so let's go get my hair done so i'm like running a, i'm going to be a little late i'm not running late right now but I wanted Starbucks and I said if I see one on the way only I'm gonna get it and I was driving and I was about to make a left turn and I seen it on the right so we're gonna go to Starbucks real quick to get my order hi can I get a grande um, ice caramel macchiato can I add um, whipped cream and an extra pump of vanilla syrup Add whipped cream and an extra pump of vanilla syrup. All right. And that's it. And what's your good name for your order? Chelsea. All right, thank you. Does he have Thank you. Okay, so it's kind of dark, but I got my Starbucks. I got to mix it up. Um, I'll be like seven minutes late, which I think is like, okay. Miss Kim's really sweet, so. I hope she's not mad at me, but I need my Starbucks. <laughs> So my hair is all done and I basically told her to cut it. So I um, basically told her to cut it so I won't have to do it. But now I'm about to go to Ulta and then I need to go to Walmart to donate some glasses. Like I have seen glasses, like I got like six pair that um, are no longer in my prescription. Um, honestly, it's just too expensive for me to um, change the prescription it's just not worth it i just go to warby parker now and every year just pay 90 dollars and get a new pair when i when it changes so yeah i'm gonna donate my old glasses and they're good ones like burberry dolce and gabbana but i only wear them at night so i just decided i don't need to spend upwards of like 400 dollars for glasses so yeah let's go to ulta and then let's donate these glasses Okay, so I haven't done nothing since I got home, but I did try to unpack my suitcase from the last time I used it, which was when we went to Canada about, mm, it's at the end of April. So like a month and some change, about six weeks ago or something. So my suit, my room is a mess because we're trying to clean it up, but it's really just the stuff that we're taking to Miami. And if it's loud, it's because we have stuff in the dryer and stuff, but I unpacked my suitcase and then my husband put all of his stuff on the bed. We're washing the sheets. I like to come home to like really clean and pristine. So I'm trying to set up everything. I got these mini Kaoli perfumes. Hold on, I wanna show you. I got these mini Kaoli perfumes and I really wanted to like, I want the bigger ones, but at the same time, I just have so much perfume. I just felt like, yeah, girl, you don't need anything more. So if you get something else, you need to get it many. Because, okay, this is my perfume collection. And then that's like all my mini perfumes. So, yeah. But I did get my Revolve package. So I'm going to try on those things and see if I want to bring any of those 
to Miami. I'm gonna make a TikTok about those things and I'll probably come on here and show y'all anyways too. So let's go do that. so our sheets finally dried so I must have clear all of his stuff off the bed and mine is a little bit of my stuff too and then I'm gonna make the bed and just try to make the room you know ready for when we come back I mean we are going to sleep in it tonight but I just One thing I learned on TikTok is if you put two down comforters, it'll make it fluffier. And I really want our bed to be fluffier. I think that's the only thing I don't like about it. So I bought another one. So we're gonna try this out too. And the bed's made. So it's 7 like 30 almost. It's like 7 26. And I have not eaten at all today. So I ordered food, I ordered Chicken Express. I haven't had Chicken Express in like years. I think I've only had it like once or twice, but it was gonna get here in like 20 minutes. So I ordered eats. So it's about to be here. Hold on, I got a notification. Let's see. Oh, it'll be here in two minutes. So yeah. So I'm about to open these little mini perfumes. I want to see how small it is. And I really, really hope that it has a spray. Neville is at his coach's house or something, like watching film and stuff. So I'm just chilling here. Okay. These, I'm going to get this in everything because this is so freaking cute and I really feel like this is perfect for traveling and stuff like that's what I wanted it for anyway so yeah mm, it's so freaking adorable so I got vanilla vanilla royale and invite only amber so I'll probably pack one of these um when I start packing, I need to plan on my outfits because I actually have too many things that I want to wear. And I'm also going to Jamaica in a few weeks. And then I'm going to Tulum. So some of these things, if I don't wear them, like I'll eventually wear them. But yeah. Ooh. I have the vanilla one, so I kind of want to smell. This one, the invite only amber is spicy, like cinnamon, but I like it. It would smell, oh my gosh, it reminds me of Grand Soir, which is on the more expensive side. So, ooh. I'm gonna bring these. The, these will be perfect in my toiletry bag, oh my gosh. Okay, so my food's about to be here, so let me go get that. Y'all, I'm pissed because I ordered food and it delivered to my husband's barber. Look at my laundry room's a mess. But it delivered to his barber because he put in the address there and I didn't notice it because I didn't think that he ordered food because usually if you order food, I would get a notification. So, and my head is hurting so freaking bad so i'm about to just go to chick-fil-a whatever it's okay okay so i finished my chick-fil-a now we came home taking a shower 
And now I'm about to finish packing. Babe, when you wear these orange shorts, I have to wear my orange swimsuit. When you wear these orange shorts, I have to wear my orange swimsuit. Okay, so I took a small break. I packed all of Neville's clothes and now it's time to pack mine. So these are like my out. I broke my drawer, so they're coming to fix it next week, but that's another story. But these are like my outfit options. Don't know, Neville's gonna help me pick those out. And then this is my skincare and beauty options of what I'm gonna pack. I don't know. You gonna help me? Yes. You're, but I don't know. I packed all of your stuff. Where's your toiletry bag? I couldn't find it. Don't hurt yourself. Say hi. Hi. Okay, so I'm about to pack some more. You're being a bully. But look, help me pick which beauty supplies. Yeah, after I change these lights. Are you gonna help me pick with what soap? Yes. Perfume. I'm facing the biggest dilemma because I wanna bring all of these things. Like so over here, this is oh lipstick stuff. A little carry-on thing. Makeup brushes. I already decided which makeup brushes I'm gonna use. And I'm trying to decide if I wanna use the base um dop kit or if i'm going to be able to get everything in the cow pack mini toiletry case um that's just the purse that i have i just don't know super goop base sunscreen and this is like the super goop body sunscreen that i bought <sighs> hair products i don't plan on washing my hair though so I don't know which lashes I should pick, which scent, which body wash. It's just too many decisions to make. But with faith, we can get it through. But let's see what he's doing. I love a handyman. Neville. If you loved me, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> it's so nice. How do you know how to put that in? Are you going to do both lamps? No, I'm not going to do both lamps. Are you washing that out? It's midnight and I'm finally finished packing, like, kind of. So, never sleep, and I'm just putting the stuff I'm not bringing away, and then the trash can, and then I'm about to go to sleep. I set all my outfits for tomorrow, and some something to travel back in, and yeah. So, good night, y'all. Say good morning. Oi. We are just boarding the plane and we're about to go to Miami. I'm really in one B, but I'm in two B's. I can sit next to my husband. And they switch my seat, so. Um, <laughs> he's too excited. We're off. Huh? No. Take it off. So. Looks like I need to touch up my hair. But we made it. So it's a long walk, but we're walking to get um a rental car. Just reading the sign. 
don't rent a car, rent the car. I'm so excited. We're finally about to try Joan and Juice. I've been wanting them for like six months now. So I'm happy to finally, finally get it. And I don't care. I'm going to get two different kinds. Okay. Yay or nay? That's cool. The bread? Yes or no? He already did his. I, I ain't you. a fan of it. Oh, Lord. Now I'm nervous that I'm not going to make it. But I wanted to come all the way here. This is the tuna caro. I'm not gonna lie. This is good to me. Like, right. wow. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. A bit. It was flavorful. I like it. Yes or no? You <laughs> still think it's okay? Mm -hmm. I think it's bomb. I think this is one of the things like you like it or you like it or you don't. Yeah. This. Goal. Anywhere they have a Joan and Juice, I'm gonna get Joan and Juice when we visit. As far as turkey, I mean tuna sandwiches go, this is the best tuna sandwich I've ever had that I didn't make or like somebody else homemade. 10 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Nine. I'm on face. Wait. I'm on face time with Chanel. But I messed. I tore up that tuna one. So now I'm about to try the turkey. Yeah. It's up top. Okay, look at the bread. Still good. Nowhere near the tuna cotta. Turkey's my favorite, so I was like, why nobody talking about the turkey? But the pesto is what gives this one flavor, but the tuna was so moist and juicy and like flavorful. This one doesn't compare. Not at all. Oh, oh girl, not 80. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the house. This is our room. Nothing big, but it's cute. I like it. So we are about to go out at eight something, eight fifteen, and I think it's now seven. So everybody's still outside at the pool and stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and 
get in the shower. I like that we have a little vanity type of area, but yeah, we have our bathroom to ourselves. So yeah, that's so why I just got out the shower. He's about to try to get in the shower. I hope. Are you? <laughs> That was funny. But anyways, I'm about to try to like do my makeup and stuff while he gets ready. Um, I just put my serums and my oils and stuff on my face. We're going out tonight, so I'm wearing a blue dress. Can't wait to show y'all. Yeah. So the whole purpose of us going to Miami was to celebrate our friend's birthday. So we started off at Poppy Steak. Y'all, Poppy Steak is so good. The drinks are good and cute. That was a Coco Chanel. So they sprayed a little bit of perfume on it just for a little bit of razzle dazzle. One thing I really like about this place though, it is definitely turns up. Like we were having dinner, but we had so much fun that night. Like, and the food is so good. We ended up ordering a whole bunch of everything for everyone to try. I think I had like a stuffed crab or stuffed lobster with crab and then we had steak, we had a whole bunch of appetizers, everything was so so good, no key, we could have had some more. <laughs> Y'all ready? Yeah. <laughs> About to go to the boat. What's up? What is it, day three? It's Sunday, and <laughs> Jalen cooked breakfast, and yeah, so we got breakfast. It's kind of late. We're getting a late start, but everybody's like chilling. So it's 1.46. We're headed to the mall. Do you have to make a U-turn? Or just to make a shirt? Oh, never mind. So we're headed to the mall. I have on a pink, I mean, I said pink, an orange little shorts outfit. Do you know what you're getting? Yeah, I'm gonna check out a couple stores for some cakes. And I'm just along for the ride. If I see anything, I might, I don't know. But I don't have anything that I want or anything. I'm not really trying to job too much. But oh, this is a tight road. how tight it is but yeah we're about to go shopping I'll show y'all if I get anything or what we see so yeah so we went to the mall and I did not see anything Neville got some shoes and I think some earrings and some sunglasses but everything that I asked for they did not have so I just said whatever and I'll just get something later so we went to the mall. He didn't even have to take anything with him because he was able to get it shipped to our house. So that was so convenient too. 
had to go back and secure the goods. So this is the third day here and the third time I've had this, but that's how good it is to me. Um, Tony said that, well yesterday Tony got hers with jalapenos. So, and everybody that took a bite of it said hers was better. So we're gonna see, I got the jalapenos today. I don't even like jalapenos that much, but we're gonna see if it's better. I just came to let you know, the jalapeno is a good addition. I didn't think it could get any better. And the jalapeno turned it up about two notches. Yesterday I said 9 out of 10, or Friday I said 9 out of 10. Today, this made it a 10 out of 10. I typically like my tuna sweet, not savory. But this, and I typically don't like crunchy bread. This is my favorite sandwich, and I love sandwiches. So then the rest of the night was pretty chill so then we just hung out by the pool and packed and got ready for our flight in the morning and then we headed home.